I think that underneath everything that is at stake in human life is the problem of the terror of this planet. It is a mystic temple and hall of doom. If you don't see it that way, you have built defensive against seeing it as it is. Children ask religious questions that we repress. She wants to know who he is, what he's doing on this planet. And we don't know, so we lie to him. We tell him how he came to be here, which is not really how he came to be, since we don't know. What we've done in our flight from death is to literally just insert ourselves into a reality where time and space are psychologically obliterated. Kids and adults are spending all that energy blocking out most of their human senses. That to me is the very definition of being less alive. But what parent wants their child to be less alive? Who among us wants to be less alive? Some do. This screen really makes our world, our universe, smaller. It shrinks us down. It shrinks our vision down and our imagination and our dreams. From a point of view of social philosophy, it's the lie about the world that is killing the world. Everyone's lie about how the world is that they're using as a defense against reality and the crazy games they play as they lie to defend themselves against the world. And the one dangerous thing that we do with that is we eclipse the, the dimension of mystery. We make the kid think that there's no mystery in the world. 